Hello my soul family, welcome to my Spiritual Counseling TV Network. Welcome to this week's therapy session. This week we're going to learn about somatic awareness in our body. How this is going to help us to recover from any traumas or from any past wounds and reconnect with ourselves rather than run away from our problems or numb it out. We need to be somatically aware. So this is about body awareness, mindful awareness and somatic awareness all going deep today. So let us begin with make sure that you have a notebook so that you can write your notes, do the handout assignments. Make sure that you screenshot your handouts as well so that you can do these tools. Keep these tools in your toolbox. This is a somatic psychotherapy toolbox that I'm using here. And of course, we're expanding on these worksheets in talking about it. And be mindful that you can also use these when under stress or when under a lot of pressure in life with whatever circumstance is happening. You can use these tools to get back into your body, calm yourself down and see logically and realistically through new eyes, through the eyes of love, okay? And through the eyes of a higher holistic perspective, which is all that I teach you here in my therapy sessions. I have a very holistic approach when it comes to spiritual counseling. Everything is tied in together body, mind, and spirit, our mental health, emotional health, physical health, and spiritual health. And we put this all together into one nice therapy method that we can use to really heal and take that next step and moving forward higher in our life. Okay, so get comfortable and let's get started with today's very, very deep topic. So today, we're going to go into this chapter that's about soft skills, prepared and grounded. We need to prepare ourselves through somatic awareness in our own body, okay? So one of the key aspects of working somatically is preparing your body and mind for the work ahead. You want to be able to understand the techniques from the inside out in order to understand their power and application for yourself or for anyone close to you. In addition, you want to know your somatic baseline, which is a neutral zone from which you can feel and sense changes. So it's important to be unbiased when it comes to taking an honest look at ourselves. And this is why it's saying a neutral zone, right? Because you're neither overly hyped up or angry or stressed out or already depressed. You need to be somewhere in the middle to be able to see yourself clearly, okay? So for example, what accounts for you feeling out of balance? This is the basis for all mental or emotional imbalances, right? How do you know when you're feeling balanced in your body and nothing is bothering you? So how can you have like this measuring stick as to what to strive for and what's healthy for you personally, individually? Because remember, everybody's different and reacts to stress differently. So you might have a different tolerance level than someone else. So this is where this is a personal project for you, you see. What are the somatic markers that you can recognize in your body that tell you that you're tense, okay, relaxed, curious, etc.? It's like the beginning warning signs that your body's giving you so that you can take a close look at it and do something about it to prevent it from spiraling into something bigger, right? How can you recognize feeling drained and deflated after working with someone, a client, if you work with people? Have you picked up somatic information from a client that you're simply dismissing as tiredness? It's important to be somatically tuned in to know the difference. 
So knowing how you feel before you start your work gives you evidence as well as a measure to know what to do to balance yourself. Again, it's like a scale from zero to 10, right? And you need to be at a 10 always. And if you're not there, then you can work on it, right? This is the most important assessment when learning to understand what burns you out and what rejuvenates you. Making awareness a basic practice so that you know how you feel in your body, mind, and heart is part of the practice of a somatically oriented therapist or even just individual working with people, you see? It does not require a lot of your time. You just need a regular way to check in with yourself and sharpen your skills and awareness. It's just like an everyday little routine, basically. It can also be helpful to cultivate a body questioning vocabulary as part of your somatic work. But taking a body snapshot for the day tool has basic questions that you can ask yourself as you start your working day. So let's take a look at this. Take a body snapshot for the day. So here, I'm gonna look at the, uh, the worksheet. You take kind of like a selfie, basically, and you're gonna use that photograph, but it's an internal, it, has, it could be metaphorically as well. So the purpose of this exercise is, is designed to establish how you are today and in this present moment. Taking a quick inner inventory of how you are established, a base, somatic baseline from which you can compare how you're doing while working with your clients throughout the day. So based on that selfie or snapshot that you took in the morning before working with your clients or before going to work, right? Working with people, even if you're just around people. After that, you compare it and you see if anything is still the same or out of alignment. And then you can tell yourself if it's the vibrations around you or if it's the stress that they caused you or if you're just genuinely tired so that you can be more honestly clear about what is the issue and what's affecting your emotional state. You see, you see how this all ties in together. This is basic for everyday life, okay? As a healthy lifestyle, so that you can be balanced individual. This snapshot is an inner directed moment of awareness, noticing yourself right now. Knowing your inner snapshot is critical because it makes you realize when you're off or when something's just not feeling right, remember that your intuition is the compass of your soul. So you need to listen to your gut, listen to your body. Because your body, when something manifests physically in your body, it's already too late because initially, the initial problem was something mental or emotional, okay? So that's why we're talking about this because we don't want it to be where it's manifested into something physical now, okay? We want to deal with it before. And then when to come back to balance. So you have to be like your own doctor, your own therapist. You will be more inclined to notice when you're getting triggered, tired, overwhelmed, or emotionally flooded. And this will also make it more likely that you're going to have very harmonious, peaceful, healthy relationships. Relationships are not just intimate, remember. Relationships with friends relationships with strangers, relationships with your clients, everybody, okay? You take a body snapshot to know where you're at and embrace it kindly. If you're having a vulnerable or bad day, that's okay because everybody does. So allow yourself to know how it feels in your body and own it. Just make sure that it doesn't become a pattern. You are a dynamic process just like your client or anybody that you're working with. Take the somatic snapshot and send a kind inner note to yourself. Be kind, stay open, and get here. It's very important to stay compassionate with ourselves. Here's a little tip. You can also take this inner snapshot in between clients to help you to stay tuned into yourself. So you can take various snapshots throughout the day and be comparing yourself how your emotional state evolves or changes depending on what's happening exteriorly around you so that you can take better measures to decide what's gonna be around you and not, and hence make better life choices, right? When it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your actual geographical location, all of these things play a huge role in our health and wellness, our well-being. So the instructions for this exercise is to ask yourself, 
How is my body feeling today? That's number one. Number two, what is the sensation of this blank in my body right now? So whatever emotion you pinpointed, what is this sensation about? What is it telling you? And then number three, if this area or body part could speak right now, what would it say to you? Maybe it can give you some advice or a solution as to how you can make it go away. Okay, now let us go to tool number two. Back body awareness for therapy readiness. So this is important, right? Because a lot of stress gets held into the back. And this can also relate to your posture during the day. So the better posture that you have, the more you're gonna be able to conquer anything that comes your way and you're gonna feel more confident and empowered because it is such a thing as a power posture, okay? So whether or not your mind is in tune with that, your body is gonna force your mind to believe that it's confident. So try that simple exercise as an extra tip. The purpose of this exercise here is that the back body awareness in the therapy seat is a technique that can ground you as you get ready for a session or return you to your inner balance when you're feeling thrown off in a session. The goal is to reference an inner alignment of your back to access strength, balance, and equanimity. Okay, so tune into your back and connect with the spine and make sure that this inner alignment is reflected exteriorly, you see? Because the back represents strength, balance, because the spine balances our entire body from the left to the right side and holds all the body parts together. And equanimity, right? Equalizing the weight between the both sides. So the instructions for this exercise is to take a quiet five to seven minutes. You can do this before each session or at the beginning of the day to get ready. Make sure you're undisturbed for that time. Your outer posture is to sit either in a chair or on the floor. Assume a relaxed yet alert posture by sitting upright and having your shoulders aligned with your hips. That's the proper posture like I'm sitting right now. Make sure your head is also in alignment and that you're not protruding your chin, like tucking in your chin, but rather chin up high. Slightly tuck your chin in as this will allow for an elongated neck in the back and align your posture so that you feel upright. You can evoke an image that has a regal and relaxed quality to it. Close your eyes and check your inner posture by sensing this quiet outer posture. You want to feel straight and yet not embraced, not braced in any way. You don't want to feel constricted. While working in a session or while working in your job or whatever it is that you do for a living, even with your own kids if you're a parent, See how we can apply this to different scenarios. You can use a simple reference of your back body as you sit and assume the relaxed but upright posture. The fact that you're reminding your body to sit this way will trigger a body memory of a relaxed and calm state. It is important to practice this posture several times prior so that you can do a simple sitting and you will reap the benefits of a more relaxed state of awareness. It will allow you to shift into a more big picture perspective, which we talked about in my motivational speech this week. That can be helpful when you feel tired, bored, or stuck in your session. This simple body awareness technique is best practiced in every session that you can so that it becomes a healthy habit. Notice that when you're feeling tired or stuck, your body posture often mirrors this inner state. So we want to shift that energy so that we can feel ready, confident, upright, light. We move on to tool three, a very important one for today. Grounding through the body. This is very important. When you learn to ground through your body, you can weather any challenge that life delivers to you or anybody that you're working with or a family member or your partner, anybody, okay? 